It would seem that the very production of the iconic 747 hangs in the balance as Boeing debates whether or not to secure a new supplier for its parts. Boeing is facing a difficult decision over the iconic program. While the last passenger 747-8 rolled out of the factory in 2017, Boeing has still been producing its freighter variant, the 747-8F. Now the supplier of parts for the jumbo jet has cut supplies, which leaves Boeing with a dilemma. Either it establishes a new supply line, or it wraps up 747 production for good. Boeing is thus far keeping mum on future plans, but had this to say to Simple Flying regarding its current commitments. The 747-8 is sold out for the next few years. At a build rate of 0.5 airplanes per month, the 747-8 program has more than two years of production ahead of it in order to fulfill our current customer commitments. We'll continue to make the right decisions to keep the production line healthy and meet customer needs. For 50 years, a company called Triumph has supplied fuselage and tailplane panels for Boeing 747. Earlier this year, Triumph said it had delivered its very last of these parts as it shut down its plants in Texas and California. Before closing up shop, it supplied Boeing with enough to complete the existing order backlog. However, if future production will continue, the manufacturer needs to seek out a new supplier. According to Flight Global, there is increasing internal tension at Boeing over the fate of the iconic aircraft program. Sources say that the company has determined a minimum number of orders needed to commit to a new supply line and extend production. The figure is believed to be close to 100 aircraft. The last commitments for the 747F came in 2018. UPS, the American Multinational Package Delivery Service, ordered 14 of the aircraft. UPS is one of Boeing's largest 747F customers, having signed for 28 over the years. Volga Dnepr, a Russian cargo airline specializing in moving oversized, unique and heavy cargo, ordered for the same year as well. Many have been saddened to see the classic silhouette of the 747 fade away. While the demise of its freighter program may not be as sad for travelers, if Boeing decides to end production, it will most definitely be the end of an era. It would also leave cargo carriers with a gap in the availability of newly built large capacity freighters. At 138 tons, it has a much higher payload than its closest rival, the 777F, at 102 tons. Will we see the last of the 747 family roll out of the factory in two years, or does it still make sense for Boeing to keep up production? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.